welcome back to What's the 4 and one where we're talking to Fatih. She nice. is a very dynamic artist, and we're talking to her now about the influence on her album, Afrobeats, and, and why that came about. Afropop? Afropop. So it's so pop Afro music. It's, po it's basically pop popular music with African sound. Okay. To me, I think of Afrobeat as like a big old gumbo pop with different oh. sounds. That's how I, that's how I, uh, okay. Afrobeat. So it's Afrobeat, Afropop, it has a nice little, right. you know, Rich well, soul, up, up yeah. Tempo. Up, it's Afro oh. Afro pop is sounds a little bit more commercialized to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what would David O B consider? Afro B. He's Afro B. Okay. Afro -B. Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, that's different. Mood, <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that song. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't have no <laughs> idea what the hell is that. Like that <laughs> it's a good song. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you went back to the continent and reconnected in order to to do it. And I what did. was that process like? Uh, as soon as I got there, literally, I flew in, and the very next day, I went to the studio. Mm -hmm. I did six songs in six days. Um, I already knew how I want the sound. Uh -huh. um, the the beat was already cre uh, somewhat created. Right, right. Um, <laughs> and uh, I did six songs in six days, and I thought I was finished. Ooh. I thought I was done. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I want to go to the beach and celebrate. So uh -huh. my dad took me to Assini. Um, it's a private island mm -hmm. in um, Abidjan, and we were out, you know, Looking at the beautiful water mm -hmm. and eating African food, the chicken, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, and, uh, um, and just celebrating. I don't know if it was the weather or what it was, but I immediately felt a burning sensation in my gut, like a song is coming. Really, yeah, I did. It was like a physical burning. feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I ran back to my room, and uh, as soon as soon as I like closed the door. I heard, give me more, give me, give me, yes, give me more. Yes, the one. Try to hide it. Yes. I will be loved. I was like, oh my God. So it took me, it, it literally took me an hour to write it. Mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. Every time I got stuck, I, I couldn't see the water, but I closed my eyes and I imagined it. Mm -hmm. And that yes. helped me get to the to the, to the the next part. But, oh yeah, but before I wrote that, mm -hmm. I spoke out into the universe. I said, I want to write a song. I didn't know. It's good. It's, you know, I want right. to write a song about universal love. And I want everybody and anybody to connect with this song. Oh, that is so beautiful. And that and it was created. Then the next day I recorded it and... My last, my, the, the last song that I thought was, you know, was, was actually my first song. That's so amazing. And I yeah. see that like being on a beach and yeah. having that old vibe and everything like that. Yeah. The water. The, yeah, so how's beautiful. the video? Um, tell us about the video that's in your mind for that song. Well, the video, she did it. She did it. It's already created. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, well, the it's video, done in Miami. The video, I wanted the video to be very colorful because I, so if you think of love, mm -hmm. if it was a color, it's really vibrant and colorful, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so that's how the video is. It's like is. your yeah. lipstick. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. I'm actually coming out with a lipstick. Oh, right. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love, I love those, those, um, the sparkles, yeah. I just like that, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, but it was done in Miami. We did it in two days. Uh, we had to come back and shoot the um, the beach scene because it's it rained on us. Oh, but we did it in two days, and um, the the seamstress that um, did um, I designed the outfits, and she she created. I ask you about she that. Created They're the beautiful. The seamstress did it in two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so you waste no time. I like how you just get to it, and you're just like dedicated, and you move forward. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that has a lot to do with my father. Yeah. He's like, you have to stay on it. You know, you got to make sure you, you got to be about your business. And, you it's know, that's, that's my father that, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, yeah. well, I like the fact that you decided to do, like, Afro pop, right? Mm -hmm. Because right now, only, like, several years now, it's mm -hmm. been coming up. You talked about Afro beats mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. seems to be having, finally, its moment. So, Isn't it right? I, America's yeah. just now. Exactly. Yeah. Like, the UK Rest was on it years ago, and then we're just mm -hmm. getting into it. So how does that feel as an African woman to finally see Af West African music get its due? Honestly, I think I just came in this industry at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, okay. mm -hmm. And I'm really grateful because it's it's really good. It's feel good music. Mm -hmm. And so I don't care who the artist is. If you hear the music, your body just starts moving. Like so like um, uh, that, that type of music, we need that, in, you know, in America. We need the love. We need the, the richness. Yes, you know, we do. Yeah, we, we do. need that. So... I'm excited about it. I, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm, I'm able. I'm releasing music at this time when it's actually, you know, right when, when people are ready for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. and it's going to be received mm -hmm. quite well. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, while we're on the topic of Africa, mm -hmm. I hear that you had an amazing time opening for Cool in the Gang. I did. Yes, in Nairobi, Kenya. So tell us about that. Yes. What if I? Okay. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, how did that cool. come up? So yeah. Cool is my uncle. Oh, what? Really? So do you know? What? Wait, what's that's that guy. Oh, guy's, oh man, we just interviewed him. Prince like maybe. Yeah, yes, that's, 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 that's the son. That's yeah. the son. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So you know what? Yeah. Look, we sorry, just, had, we just had a moment. We we're just sorry. had a moment. We had a, we're our executive, she's pro- not. executive producer's shaking her head. But she's you know, not happy with yeah. us right Prince now. Prince Hakeem, go to YouTube channel. What's the form on TV? Check it out. Shout out y'all, to y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all know Hakeem. I'll be messing up. And cool, 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 cool <laughs> the gang. Shout out to you. Yeah, right. so he, they, he asked me to, to perform on the stage. Um, mm-hmm. When I showed up at the uh, the park, mm-hmm. I, I we turned the corner. I didn't see the amount of people. Mm-hmm. Until I turned the corner, and as soon as I turned the corner, I had a nervous breakdown. Oh, really? my I had God. a nervous breakdown. I was like, I am not getting on that stage. And I got out the car. My father was like, Get on stage right now. Gotta go. Get I was like, I can't no, do it. No. Right. And I and I literally had a, like a nervous breakdown backstage. And my mom, thank God for mothers, mm-hmm. she took her hand. Yeah. Smacked <laughs> the mess out of me and said, Listen, you did not come all the way. Right. Oh, America to Africa to, to be fearful. I grabbed that mic. How y'all doing out there? <laughs> yes. 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 Exactly. So because of that, I, I, that experience helped me because, like, I don't think about the fear. I just, like, okay, I have to do it. Got to do, so it, anyway. gotta do, you it, gotta anyway. do it anyway. You got to do it anyway. So the experience was it. really good. It was. You were, sing, were you singing or were you doing it? I was dances? singing. Okay. I was singing one of a song that I wrote a um, long time ago. Um, mm. I think it's called Cutie. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. <laughs> no, it's one of the cute, cute little bubblegum song that I wrote. Um, and uh, it was in front of five hundred thousand people. That is so many people. That is so people. many people. That's like you can't even visualize that. You know? Can you like, even see those people when you're on the stage? You just you can't like because it, it looked it just looked like a sea of people. Just, mm-hmm. just you know. Oh my god. Yeah. So once you got over the nerves, was it like the adrenaline of it oh was. my gosh, I'm in front it of was. all these people? And it made me feel really good because they didn't really know me, you know, mm-hmm. at the time. And but they were rocking. They were rocking with me, right? and then they were like trying to reach for my hand. I'm like, you want to touch my hand? Are ah, ah, you screaming for me? It felt really good. It yeah. really felt, it felt really good because they um they nice. if it's, if the music is good, they don't care who, who the artist. They just, no. like, they just like the music. They it's really, just about the universe, yeah. about the wave, mm-hmm. right? The vibe yeah. of it. The vibe. And it was for a benefit, right? Yeah, the, um, it was a, uh, AIDS, um, uh, United Against AIDS globally. Mm-hmm. Um, no glove, no love. So it was, you know, really nice. No glove, no mm-hmm. love. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Remember that, folks. Remember no that. Glove, no love. Um, Can't be done with the L O V E love. <laughs> <laughs> Put the glove. Put on, on that glove. glove. <laughs> I mean, it's overrated, folks. You, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. All right. So, I mean, you didn't just go to the continent back then. You're back and forth between the continent. Mm-hmm. You were just in Ghana a few months ago. Yeah. You had your little debut there. I had a concert. In Are you also touring? about that? Are you touring a little? Yes, I'm doing a media tour right now. Mm-hmm. I, I did a concert. That my first one was in Ghana for, mm-hmm. uh, for as. Foxy is my, you know, mm-hmm. releasing my, my album. Right. And then I, d- I did a few songs off my album in Ghana. Mm-hmm. We performed in front of um, the press mm-hmm. at a lounge. And then mm-hmm. after that, I went to Abidjan and I did a concert there. Oh my God, yeah. that is amazing. Yeah, I did a oh concert there. And uh, I'm actually going to do a concert with Cool again in September. Um, oh, you know September. what? Hold that thought. Okay. Because we are going to take another break and we will be back with part three with our interview with Fati. Nice. <laughs> 